back to Maddie on Mad. Today, I'm going to be telling you how I met this girl that's been in my last two videos. Now, I know it's going to seem off, but remember, never just become friends with strangers. You don't know who they are. You don't know anything about them. So, never ever do this. Don't become friends with strangers unless you know something about them. As long as you know their age and you know their age is true and you know that they're nice and stuff then you could friend them on roblox but if you don't know any of that stuff they could be a 48 year old or grandpa grandma age so never ever do what i did so just to remind you guys never do that but I am going to be playing Tower of Heck while I tell you how. So, today I went into Bloxburg to earn money. And I accidentally didn't go into my private server. And I went into a public one. I played for a little bit. And then I saw this person who was asking if they'd like to go to a daycare. Because her friend, I think, had almost the same username as her. Her just had YT at the end of hers. Anyway, totally off topic. I decided, because they invited me to their party in the game, I decided might as well go. So I went ahead and I went down to their, their little home, teleported, and I paid them to take care of me as a daycare person, and yada, yada, yada. We played for a while, and then I had to change my device, because my one of my devices, the device I was playing on was at 15%, and my other one was at 100 So, of course, I was going to change it, so that way I wouldn't get disconnected. So, to get back into the server, I can't just join a random server and hope I get it. So, I had to friend the girl, which I'm not going to say their username, but I had a friend one of the girls and one of the girls did it and that's my friend who became my friend today i friended her that's how i ended up friending her to get back in the server and then when you're in the server everybody knows you can't unfriend people so of course i just continued with it and i was gonna unfriend her as soon as i got out of the server after i zoomed through a play and then the person who was the daycare person who was taking care of us at the daycare what the heck's going on with my character? What the? Guys, you see this? One more. So her friend was the daycare person who was taking care of us. And then the person who was taking care of us, her friend, decided, hey, we should just do a family role play. So she loaded in her house. We got into the house. She showed us to our rooms. And then suddenly the house just disappeared and she was gone too with it. And at that moment, I realized that we waited there for about five minutes and... So we just started standing and talking to each other. Um, and yeah, we just started talking to each other. And then we just gave up. The person at the end never joined back. I knew they were friends. I asked her, if is that your friend or something? Because clearly they had similar username. So that would probably mean likely that it probably was likely to be her friend. So I asked her. And she said, yeah, it is my friend. She said, I asked her, is she going to join back? And, of course, not because she never did. Um, we stayed there for five minutes, like I said. And then we decided to get a hitched ride. So we, we chatted into the chat. ABC, if you'll pick us up and take us to the other side. Because, of course, my house was on the other side. And she didn't really have a house yet. So... That was our option. We had to go to that house and see what we would do instead of just standing out because it was raining at that time in the game. Of course, this is all in the game that we get to realize. Of course, of course. And then we thought, you know what, we could just continue. And then I thought, and then she asked me, Do you want to be friends? And then I was like, Yeah, cool. Actually, no, that's not how it went. We arrived at our house. And I actually asked her, do you want to be friends? She asked me, do you want to be friends? We decided to become friends. When we got to the house, I showed her the house. And then I didn't want to be friends with somebody who I didn't know the age of. And I couldn't trust her. And when we were hitching the ride, of 
course, her thing said YT at the top, so I didn't know if she was a TikToker or a YouTuber. So I asked her, hey, do you do YT? She's like, yeah. And then I was like, I do YT too. If you don't know what YT stands for, if you're in the older group that watches my videos, like my grandma and grandpa, that means a YouTuber or a TikToker. So, of course, you know, she, um, uh, I asked her her age, and she says, you go first. So, of course, I went first, because that's something somebody would do. And she, I said, I'm 10. I was going to be truthful. I was going to go for 12, but you know what? I'm going to be truthful today. And then she said hers, and she was 12. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so close age. We thought about doing a video call, but we thought it was going to be too soon to do that. Of course, we showed each other our YouTube channels. We gave each other our YouTube channel names. She wouldn't have checked out mine. I wouldn't subscribe to hers. She subscribed to mine, of course. And we, we just talked for a while. We didn't really call... We still had a plan to call, but we decided not to go through with that plan because, you know, that would just be kind of awkward. You know, we just met. We didn't know about, we don't really know anything about each other. So we played for a little. Um, of course, it's hard when you're not on a call. So she asked, do you have any socials? And I'm like, um, I have FaceTime and I've got some other stuff. I told her whatever I had. And then she's like, okay, cool. And I was like, why? And she's like, just so we could text or something. Because, of course, the games, it tags. And then we decided not to go through that plan maybe later type deal. But we thought about it. And, um, yeah. And then, of course, we thought, hey, you want to be friends? Again, we asked. Like, actual friends, not just in-the-game friends. And, of course, I said yeah, and she said yeah, and yeah. And then later, I left that game. She went to play with somebody else after she showed me her house. And I went ahead and I went and played a different game. I went and played a different game, watched YouTube, do my stuff. And then I asked her, she was in Bloxburg again, and I asked her, do you want to do a YouTube video with me? And I was like, she said, okay. And then I thought... You know what? Friendship. Good, good, good. I had never thought to actually ask her name before I asked her her age, which was kind of weird. Because I know, I don't know that, is that weird, guys? I don't know if that's weird. I think that's kind of weird when you ask them um, their age, but not their name. After all, her name was Jen. I was able to find out after a while. About two hours later, I found out what her name was. Yeah. It was a very awkward. I didn't know what her name was, so I didn't know what to call her. And then I asked her, what do you want me to call you? And she was like, huh? She thought I meant, like, call her, like, call her on, like, the phone. But no, I didn't mean that. I meant, like, what do you want me to call her? My name's Nadia. You get the point. My name's actually Madeline. You know, and we did um, a video. Which you guys, that video has already been posted. So that video had been posted already. Um, and it actually got six views within the first, like, ten minutes. It got six views, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Wow, and then I did another one with her, a Q&A, instead of Adopt Me, and we decided to become really good friends, and I know we've only known each other for a few hours, and, yeah. But, guys, never do that. If you don't know their age, you don't know your, their name, you're just becoming friends with some random person you don't know anything about, then don't do that. Never do that, guys. And that's just a reminder, because I know a lot of people would do that, like how I did it. It was kind of, eh, I can't. I was like, uh, you know, it's okay, I guess. You know. I feel like if you were on a call with somebody, you can always just hang up, forget about that ever happened. If you found, like, they're like an old granny. But, of course, I checked out her YouTube channel. She's only had two videos, and, um, yeah. But, guys, did you guys enjoy this video about my experience? Do you guys want more experience videos? Give a thumbs up and stuff because I would love to give you guys an experience video. Like how you play a game and then you just like play people watch you. But guys, I'm trying to make this exactly 10 minutes long. So um, I guess um, see you guys next time. Good.